Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very good morning to fellow participants and representative lecturers from Sri Lanka. So today uh, I would like first of all I would like to thank you for joining my uh, session my training session uh, God 01 um, as you all know, my name is uh, Muhammad Nafid Osman Rahan. So today, before we start our training, first of all, I would like uh, to tell a little bit of an introduction of what is Suwe. So, first of all, there are many stories to tell in a classroom, and educators and students use digital storytelling to make their voice come alive. Digital storytelling combines modern technologies such as images and video and the words of the writer to create a clear message. The stories that get told are varied. There's a lot of different kind of uh, stories that can be told. A uh, few examples that can be uh, used in Sui such as a family genealogy report that includes pictures of relatives and an interview with a family members. Uh, secondly is a science lab journal with images of a plant and short video that explains photosynthesis and images found online. So th those are the few examples that can be uh, created stories for Maxwell's Way. Uh, so with so many stories to tell, finding a digital resource, resource that can make these stories come alive can be a challenge. Finding a tool that also lets the writer focus on the content of the story rather than get sidetracked with endless options and settings is a challenge. Microsoft Sway meets the needs and more. So what is Microsoft Sway actually? So Microsoft Sway is a mobile adaptive digital storytelling tool that lets students and educators focus on content of a format. So uh, this is a free Office 365 tools combined tags, images, video and other embedded content <coughs> to tell a story. So uh, a few advantages of Sway is a Sway can be linked to a QR code for easy sharing. Moreover, a Sway can be embedded into a OneNote Plus Notebook page. So it is one of the application for Microsoft. Um, and then uh, a Sway can also be viewed and copied as a template and the creator of the sway can even track how many times this this way has been viewed so uh, all these things uh, advantages and the views is called analytics and i will be uh, mentioned about this towards the end of the training later so these reasons and more make microsoft sway a powerful digital storytelling resource so I will teach you how to create by showing different examples of how Sway could be used. Alright, to start a new Sway, um, there are two ways actually. First of all, uh, you go to a web browser. Right now I'm using uh, Microsoft Edge. Okay. And go to the URL section. The first way is you go to office.com, uh, which is a Microsoft homepage. So right now I have already logged in, signed in into my credentials of uh, use Maya credentials. So, but if you haven't signed in, when you enter office.com, uh, it goes into a Microsoft homepage, and you just click sign in. Then you use your credentials of Office 365. After you use your credentials, you sign in, and you got you get this kinds of interface, home interface of Office 365. So at the top uh, left corner, there's a lot of different types of apps or application that can be used in that already existed in Office 365. That, we, that already provided for us. 
when you are registered. So uh, a few of the applications is Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Outlook, OneDrive, uh, OneNote as I mentioned just now, and SharePoint, Microsoft Teams. These are all the Microsoft application, uh, Microsoft Sway, Microsoft Form, and a lot of other uh, application that can use. So the application that I will be training you today is Microsoft Sway. Just click on the Microsoft Sway uh, icon, and it will go into uh, home interface of Microsoft Sway from Office 365. All right. The other way to go into Microsoft Sway is uh, you go to uh, any browser, you go to the URL, just click on sway.com. Alright, this is the main page of Microsoft Sway. Okay. So, as you can see, this is all online based, doesn't have any uh, offline, so you only can create a template of Sway uh, by, via online. Okay, let's go to the first switch now uh, from the Office 365 homepage. As you can see at the top here, at the new, you can choose different types of templates, how to create a sway, and under here, there's a recent uh, sway that already uh, opened before this. You can pin the sway that you already created. Um, you can uh, click on it, and down here you can see uh, features sways. Uh, you can click on it uh, as a guidance. Uh, it helps you uh, and I uh, give you an idea how to create the sway. All right, so they are uh, from this Office 365 sway interface as you can see uh, there are three ways to create a sway first of all from new blank sway you click on it and it gives us a storyline interface of sway with a uh, we can create sway from scratch so this is a blank sway. Another way is start from a document. You choose a document that you already created and you want to uh, create it, to make it into a sway template. You choose a document that you already have. For example, I chose this one. You click open and it will. Uh, it will generate the sway based on your template or PDF or Word or PowerPoint and it will create to synchronize it into a sway template there you go it will automatically uh, change into a sway template based on the file you have already had okay? Done everything okay. And if you're not satisfied, you want to edit the template, you just click on the uh, next to the share button, edit this way, just click on it, and this is the template. For the view, uh, uh, how the designs of the template, and when you go to the next to the design, you go to the storyline, and you can edit here. All right. So that is one of the ways create Microsoft Sway from a document, and the third way is from template. For example, you don't have 
you doesn't have any idea how to create a survey or design uh, you can choose what type of template you want to use there's a blog there's a DIY project there's a newsletter portfolio presentation resume student report vacation story resume uh, portfolio it, it, it gives a it gives us a nudge to start our sway okay so this is the interface from office 365 right. for example if you want to go into the sway homepage from office 365 you just click on the sway icon next to the grid up above storyline you just click on it and you go into the microsoft homepage okay so at this microsoft sway homepage as i mentioned before uh, same as the office 365 there are three ways to create a uh, sway template first create new which is a uh, blank sway the second one uh, i'll be mentioned after this and then uh, the third one start from the human as i shown you before this uh, as a, from a pdf it synchronized into a sway template and then down here you can see my sways uh, all the sways that i've recreated and you, you can see uh, you can view and get uh, start from a template that I already created or get inspired this will give you a kickstart for your sway and then the analytics i'll be mentioned later which shows the view of how many people use your sway already and then all right if you doesn't have any idea you want if you don't want to create from blanks uh, sway there's a way to help you to kickstart your sway by start from a topic for example this uh, will help us for example you got a topic in mind but you don't know doesn't know how to start your sway this for example you show whether create an outline initiate this moment creating a sweet topic based on weather then boom they are automatically create your, the sway for you then you can edit your own details to to make it much more pleasant all right Example, let's play the sway. See, it will be the sway will be like this, so it will but it will be much more interesting than PowerPoint and causes and shaping the planet, effects on human, or casting. So I'll be teaching you how to create a sway like this from blank. So I'll be hoping you will join my uh, training session on the 29th of June later. I hope I'll be seeing you. Bye. Thank you and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.